down, but if I'm if I were to pull this yarn right here, it's just one straight line. Can you guys see that? It's just one straight line going through all of that. The comb just pulls it down, but there's, you know, I could actually use this as a gather stitch. So the weave cast on does the same thing where it's just one straight line of yarn catching all of those first stitches. Um, for me, it's the easiest way to just throw yarn on the machine with a standard machine. It's not as easy with um, the bulky machines because you actually have to put the brushes on and take them off. So if you're on a bulky machine, this is not gonna be your go-to, um, but you would use it if you were doing a weave. Uh, so if you're doing weaving, which is kind of knitting and then you're weaving yarn into it, if you're doing something like that, you might do it. But for all other purposes, you're, this is not going to be your go-to for the bulky, but um, it might be for the standard. So remember how on the comb cast on, we started half of them out, half of them back, and we ran across once, and then we put them all back into working, ran across again. This time we're going to start half of them, oh, that's not on there. <laughs> This time we're going to start half of them, half of them in working, half of them in hold position. So it's just opposite. It's like starting the same thing, but instead of it going out of working for the weave, it goes into hold. So don't mix those up because actually all of these are in working right now because when they're in hold and I don't have it on hold here, these are all technically in working position. So I, what I'm going to do, and it's really helpful to have clothespin, hopefully you guys have some of these. Um, what you're gonna do is engage your brushes, which means you pull these up, the brushes face down. So when you pull them up, the brushes are down towards the needle, and they're gonna, like, basically what they're doing is pushing the yarn together when they go across it. So that you'll know they're, and you only need it for the first pass unless you're continuing to do weave. So after the first pass, you can take your brushes off. So don't forget to take them off because it, it could screw up your knitting if they're, you don't want to be knitting with them engaged. And what you're going to do here is just lay it across towards the carriage. So whatever, it doesn't matter which side you start. If I was starting on this side, I would just lay it the opposite way. So my clothespin, this, it goes towards the carriage. My brushes are engaged. I hold this because if I don't, it, it could move and get lower. I usually just um, hold this here while I'm going across the first pass. And make sure there's tension here. You always want this thing to be a little bit bent. If it's totally straight up, you don't have enough tension in this yarn, so you'll want to mess with this tension and try to make it so when you pull on it, it stays down a little bit like that. So that's just one thing to look out for. So all I do is go across it, and then I have a little bit of a loop here. That's not a big deal. That's just because it got a little bit caught under the sinker plate. Um, it didn't mess it up. And except my tension on the end kind of got messed up. So after, so because I'm not putting the comb on and I don't have weight on yet, I'll take those off now. What I want to do is hold this yarn down here and push these out for the first like three or four passes. So I'm going to go across again. It is actually knitting from the beginning, but I remember I need weight on there, otherwise it's going to screw up. This is the most secure way to knit not when you're not working in hold, is have the yarn against the gate post here and just push out all of these needles. If you're ever having issues with like stitches dropping or something like that, just hold everything and push it out. And you could do it every single time. Um, it would be annoying, but you could. And then you, and I kind of pull on it just to make sure all those um, stitches are on there and pass through. And I'm gonna do it one more time and then I'm gonna put the um, weights on because if I put them on too early, they will run into the bottom of the carriage and they'll, well, they'll mangle these, they'll fall off and get more mangled on the ground. So I'm gonna do one more time pass like that and I'm just pull it like this just to make sure all those stitches are actually on the needles. And now I can put on, I don't need this anymore, and now I can put on some weights. So I'll put my weights on the edges 
if I had a really big and well I'll knit a little and then you can see the beginning if I had a really big swatch I would want to put weights in the middle too if I have a swatch that was this big I don't want to just do the ends I'd want to do every so often with the so I get more of these there's a huge bucket of them over there so now you can see it's doing the exact same beginning so comb cast on so you see there's this straight line coming through here grabbing all of these stitches so it's doing exactly the same thing as the comb cast on but for me on a standard it's easier so all I did half of them in working half of them forward I draped it over put it through went across it took my brushes off and then I have to go forward the first few passes every time hold this pull the needles forward and then you, until you can weight it so same exact beginning it's not a it's not really a finished edge like the other ones but it's going to do the same thing i could take that one stitch and pull it if i wanted to make gather there's mostly i use it just because it's an easy way to get started when i'm showing you guys stuff the only re reason i would actually use a comb cast on and act in making things is it's good for hanging hems and th and there's some different different things you can do by hanging things up um, and it's also if I wanted to do use this as a gather I could there's so many ways so many different ways to accomplish the same thing I usually wouldn't do this for a gather but you could um, so practice that one. Oh wait let me show you on a bulky because 